What's up everybody, Emperor John Kill 3D Gaming here with another video and I'm pretty sure this topic is going to ruffle a few feathers, but hey, I wouldn't be me if I never ruffled a few feathers, you know? As of the past few weeks, I've been on Twitter. I'm really not anticipating Gotham Knights because for one, I don't have any of the next gen consoles and I really don't care to rush out and get one, I'm very content with what I have, but I always see the arguments with... 30 FPS, 60 FPS, and I'm just going to flat out say it. Does it really matter? Yes, no, or maybe so. Yes, there is a group of people that feel that it matters and that it just dominates their whole mindset when it comes to playing video games. You have those who side with one over the other. But has 30 frames or 60 frames really been a factor and you playing video games at all because if people l rely on that then it makes me wonder why were people always complaining about old games you know games like they were on the PS2 or GameCube or hell N64 or Super Nintendo back when frames didn't matter it's like ever since we got into consoles and PCs getting more and more powerful as time passes on People rely more on statistics and hardware and performance to determine whether games are good or not. I mean, me, I really don't care and I just say it doesn't matter. Play the game or play the games the way they are. To be honest, I don't see the difference and I've never seen the difference at all. I've had people telling me, oh, you need to go to a mental hospital oh you need to have your eyes examined which I really don't because every time I go to the doctor they say my vision passes with flying colors but in my opinion 30 FPS or 60 FPS really doesn't matter does it really distract you from playing the video game does it really affect how you play the video game I mean I could be playing like Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2 I could be playing Overwatch 2, I could be playing Middle Earth Shadow of War, I could be playing any game. Am I looking for the frames? No. I mean, one time somebody put me in front of a video that showed, I guess it was 60 frames, and I assume 30 frames. It looks the same to me. I mean, games are games. All the performance always looked the same to me. And it's like, when you say that, it's like, you're, you're, triggering people or people just instantly flip out I've seen gameplay and footage from Gotham Knights and people using the Arkham games for example and to me they looked the same and I would sit there and look at it. I have the Arkham games I have like I have the Arkham you know the Arkham trilogy I don't have origins that's why I said Arkham trilogy you know I got Arkham Asylum Arkham City Arkham Knight I mean, eventually when I get a next-gen console, I'm going to probably give Gotham Knights a try. You know, I enjoy playing superhero games. That's just like one of my things that I grew up doing. But when I look at the gameplay and I look at the thing uh, between that and Arkham Knight, I'm like, they really don't look all that different. In fact, they look the same in a lot of ways, just with minor differences to each other's aesthetic visual style. Because at first glance, you would assume Gotham Knights and Arkham City are set in the same universe because of their art style but when which is the most jarring thing because they said oh this has nothing to do with the Arkham games I'm like that is like the dumbest thing I have ever heard because they look the same but okay that's it is what it is I guess you don't really see any gamers complaining unless it's the Twitter crowds or PC elitists or the console fanboys always fighting about what's good what's better what's this or what's that what's wrong with just sitting back and enjoying the game the way it is I mean a lot of people seem to forget I mean I can pretty sure if you take one of these guys take a PC elitist and a console gamer who I'm pretty sure or a console peasant pretty sure they like going to the movie theaters let's use that for example the movie theater analogy are you 
going to leave the movie knowing that movies play at 24 frames a second? I mean, if that's the case, then... <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys have some really, really weird priorities. I don't understand why these arguments always occur. And I get it. Both, all communities have these cancerous crowds of uh, gamers that are just not content with playing their games, that are just content with shoving what's better down each other's throats. And the thing is, you can have people give different opinions. That's great. That's fine. But the problem is nowadays, it's like people tell you, oh, you can have your opinion even though it's a wrong opinion. I'm like, dude, there's no such thing as a wrong opinion. I mean, there is such thing as bad opinions, of course. But to say someone's opinion is just wrong and yours is the correct one is egotistical by nature. And I know a couple of PC elitists that I've dealt with in my time that are very egotistical and arrogant no matter what you say. And of course, we have the console fanboys such as groups like JTEC TV, Crap Gamer, and all of them that just grift to what's better because it's on their particular platform. And that's what I think that's most annoying about this current generation of um, gaming, this recent next gen and uh, current gen iteration is it's becoming less and less about the games but more and more about what's stronger, what looks prettier, what runs better. I mean, if your priorities are making, like, dominating your opinions with, oh, games looking better on my particular platform or looking better on my particular PC, instead of just enjoying and playing the games for themselves, for what they are, I mean... The only things I don't seem to get caught in the mix about this is indie games. Like, look at the game Scorn, for example. I haven't got the chance to play it, but I've been seeing people play it. Played on Xbox One S, played on the Xbox Series S, and hell, I've seen it played on the PC. And while I was watching all these differences and comparisons, they didn't look no different. The game still played, the game still looked pretty fun and interesting. You know, I'm going to have to jump on Scorn at some point. But, like, for using Scorn, for example, the game looks the same across the board on all platforms. Like with Call of Duty, it looks the same across all platforms. Every time I see a game that gets compared to different versions or different, uh, depending on the platform, I don't see what people see. It's just weird. I don't understand what people are seeing. They all look the same. I see the game. I see the game being played. And... The only thing that looks different is the button prompts depending if you're playing with a PlayStation controller, an Xbox controller, or a keyboard and mouse. They really don't look all that different. I mean, and saying that, like, if you say something doesn't look different, people just instantly come at you and attack your opinion, which is weird. That just shows that probably they're not comfortable with their opinion or they have to solidify their opinion by attacking yours which is really not a big deal, but it kind of just shows the in, in uh, what's the word? I can't even fucking talk today. I've slept since one, slept till one in the afternoon. The insecurities of their platform. And I'm not saying that just to be foul, but that's just how it is. All I see is a bunch of insecurity on people's platform ends. A, Gotham Knights comes out, whether you play it or not, that's up to you. To be honest, the game doesn't even really all look that bad, and 30 frames per second is really not a big deal. Now, with that being said, this is why I really don't give a lot of opinions on these kind of topics, because if anybody knows my history on YouTube, people take my videos, they stitch what I say out of context, or they put words into my mouth, or just can't really interpret what I'm saying correctly. But, hey... That's the name of the game. That's how these people get their clicks, get their views. No harm, no foul. I really could care less. The point is to give an opinion on the matter. And to me as a gamer, it doesn't bother me at all. I could probably play a game at 60 FPS. I've played a game at 30 FPS. I guess there's a difference. I just don't see it. And yeah, it's just it is what it is. Games are games at the end of the day. I mean... Maybe we can go back to a time where we just care about playing video games rather than caring what we're playing video games on 
and how much power goes into video games, I think that's what's overshadowing and dominating the industry when it really should be more about the games, more about the players, more about giving players the best experience possible, which I do understand that there's ways of doing that, but people don't have to make that their soul, you know, soul identity, if that makes any sense. You know, people make their identity just on how powerful their hardware is instead of their credibility as a gamer. But with that being said, be sure to take a look out for my next videos I have up and coming. I'm actually going to be giving my review or impressions on Dragon Ball Breakers. And so far, I'm really enjoying that game. It's the most fun I've had in a while. And I did my video on Rings of Power. So my schedule is pretty loaded up, and I have a couple of streams crossing over from Twitch to YouTube just to give people to watch and see what I've been doing on the other website. So with that being said, what do you guys think? Be sure to leave your comments below. Be sure to keep it very respectful. If you, you know, have an opinion on what I said, you know, I'm, li I'm willing to listen to it. But if, you know, you're just going to be a PC elitist or a console fanboy, then your opinion is not really going to mean jack all to me. So, want you guys to do me a favor. Be sure to like, subscribe, favorite. And if not, you could dislike, but you're not going to be able to see the dislike anyway. So, leave me a hypothetical like. I'll take it doesn't really bug me all that much. All right, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.